Hello everybody, welcome to Tokyo Creative Play. I am your host Emma and I am in jail because I did some crazy stuff. That's right, today we're going to be looking into crazy Japanese laws and ordinances and seeing if we can figure out which ones are true or false. Today in the video I'm going to be filming with Sarah, Natsumi and Shiori. Yaho! Yaho! So uh, yeah, we're gonna be filming from home today, but look, we, we all, we're all committing crimes. Well, Natsumi looks like uh, Natsumi's gonna be the judge, but look at us, we, we're crime committers. I, uh, I stole some fruit from an old <laughs> lady's tree, so that's how I got in trouble. What did you do, Sarah? Well, I stole some bread. I was very hungry. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Shorty, what happened? I drank too much and I started sleeping on the floor. Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I became a man as well. Also, today is the first time that we have Natsumi on camera with us. So, hello Natsumi. Can you hello. give us a little self-introduction? I'm Natsumi. I'm a uh, project coordinator, same as Taylor. Nice to meet you. Yay! Thank you so much for being here. Uh, from now on, you might see Natsumi a little bit more in some videos. So, let's make her feel welcome. Today, Natsumi is going to be telling us the laws and ordinances, and we're going to have to be guessing if they are true or false. And they're gonna be a little bit crazy, so uh, we'll see how we go. I have luckily not been in trouble with the law so far in Japan, but and I'm, but I'm not too familiar with a lot of the crazier laws, so I guess we'll see how we go. Okay, Natsumi, with the first law, if you please. So, number one. It is permitted to keep a baseball bat in your car if you do not use it. True or false? What? Say not. True. Two uh. falses and a true. For me, it's like, I feel like it's one of those laws where it's like, you, you can't keep a baseball bat in your car because that would be possibly aggressive unless you are a baseball player. But then it's like, what do baseball players do? My reason for this is my image of the baseball, baseball? bat. Mm. It's always like the Yankee is attacking someone or yeah. climb. So same reason as okay. maybe false. What about you, Sarah? Well, I think for convenience, like good to have it in the car if you need to go training as a like a baseball player. Okay. Well, we got both sides. Natsumi, what is the answer? Okay. The answer is the false. False. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So, is it illegal to keep a baseball bat in the car? Oh yes. Um, those who keep the weapon without any good reasons will be charged. Wow. Oh, so if, if without any good reason, so maybe if you're a baseball player, it might be okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, it might, oh. might be okay. So if you're gonna injure someone with a baseball bat, dress as a baseball player. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, for example, baseball bats, iron pipes, or wooden sword are regarded as a weapon and the police may question you. Wow. Now we know. Now we know, but eh, this law, or nani jore? Which one is it? Uh, no. No, wow. Number two, it is okay to lie when a delivery service worker or career service worker asks you for directions. What? <laughs> <laughs> what a weird, what? Prank, Jenny. Say no. We're all false. Yes. Okay, all three of us went false. Okay, the answer <laughs> is the false. Yay! Yay! It's not okay. Even though it's it's not okay by law, I think just a nice thing to do is to give people the real directions. <laughs> Those who interference with someone else's business will be punished. You will be imprisoned for less than three years or oh my god, fine up to five hundred thousand yen if you do so. Wow! Wow! <laughs> what if you accidentally get the directions wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Go to jail for like three years. Let's be nice person. Yeah, that's, that's the moral of this. Let's just be nice people, especially to delivery workers. Number three, spitting on the road is illegal. Illegal. Spitting illegal. on the road is illegal. I see old men spit every day, all the time. Hear it. It's like, it's one of the, it, the, the sounds of Japan, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nande, why all the guys sound the same? Like, copy. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they sounded like that, Shiori. I wish they sounded cute like that. Like an anime. <laughs> Women don't do it here. It's just men. I wonder what a man would, or what a, like a salary man would say if I walked in front of him and then looked like, at the animal, like, Zena. <laughs> 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 Eh? Yeah, Wait, I I Am I wrong? <laughs> what What was your intention? I wanna burn this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think it's 
legal because so many people do it and I don't see the police doing anything to stop them. Okay, the answer is the oh. true. Oh, yeah. so it's legal and people still do it? Yeah, it's illegal. I'm so glad it's illegal, but that doesn't change anything, I guess. <laughs> One will be charged if they are free, uh, urinate or defecate or make someone <laughs> between public spaces like street or park. Can you say the law again? One will be charged if they spit, urinate. Or if they spit, urinate or, or defecate. Defecate or make someone do it in public spaces. Or make oh. someone take. <laughs> <laughs> do it now. Emma, do it now. <laughs> I'm in jail because Sarah made me poop on the street. <laughs> I'm sorry. If it's the same level and they don't get consequences for spitting, then at least there won't be consequences for <laughs> taking a pee in the street. I gotta be careful. Next thing I'll do is maybe pee in the public, maybe. <laughs> yeah, watch out, shorty. Yeah. I'll just be a little puddle. Number four, it's illegal to crush trespass a wedding. Oh, okay. It's, Ill it's illegal. Illegal, yeah. It's illegal to uh, crash or trespass a wedding. What do you mean? Oh, oh, I love this scene. Usually the ex-guy, he always always wanted to propose to the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
it's one of those things, you know, there's lots of old men spitting on the street and I think it's okay for kids to go and catch a few little crayfish. But if, if people go and take a lot of them, then it's not okay. So I feel like they would need a law to prevent that happening. So that's why I think false, because there's a lot of strict fishing laws out there. So I'm like, what about Sarah, why you think? I just heard your innocent story from your childhood. I was like, it has to be true. <laughs> Surely. Yeah, but I'll be like in my town in the jail. Oh my goodness. Come join me in prison. <laughs> okay, the answer is false. Oh, oh, no. in prison. Those who do so at the paddy fields, ponds, or swamps, which they keep out, will be punished. Oh, if it says keep out. Mm. So, Siori, I don't know if you would go to jail, but you should you should go to jail anyway. As much as well, Nate, since you are there. Sounds fun. Mm. Oh, nice. Now I'm in the jail. My jail looks brighter. Yeah, your jail looks nice, man. It looks sad. Oh, so how long do I need to be here? Number seven, you will earn yourself a gold medal if you turn 100 years old. You will earn yourself <laughs> a gold medal if you turn 100 years old. So, in England, my grandma received a letter from the Queen. Wait, no, my, not my grandma, my great aunt received a letter from the Queen when she turned 100. Shiori or Emma or anyone hear the statistic recently about how many people are over 100 in Japan? It was like a crazy number. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh, it topped 80,000 for the first time in Japan. So they all get gold medals, no way. <laughs> <laughs> so many gold medals. Maybe fake gold medal, Janai. Hmm. Okay. Sena. Oh. <gasps> You guys think they get a gold medal? Yeah! They made it to a hundred, they gotta get something. They get a pat on the back, well done. <laughs> From who? The emperor? I just feel like they deserve something, you know. Japanese population, uh, eventually one out of four people are going to be over 60 or something like that. Right. The answer is... True! Yeah, gold medal! That's why there's so many old people in Japan, everybody's hanging out for this. <laughs> Natsumi, is this for the entirety of Japan or is it an ordinance for like a specific area? No, it's only in a specific area. In the city of Omuta, Toka Prefecture, citizens who turned 100 years old are presented with a gold medal. So we just gotta move there when we get to be 100. <laughs> 99. Done. Set. Okay. Is this the final question? Ah, yes. Next is the final question. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do this. Nuts me, if you please. When people make onigiri, it is encouraged that they put umeboshi inside. These aren't laws anymore, right? These are just... <laughs> <laughs> Number seven and number eight uh, question is uh, ordinances. Um, oh, it's an, it's an ordinance. <laughs> yes, it's actually for the city, right? Yeah. So yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Encourage that you put umeboshi in. That sounds legit. I think this umeboshi thing is very easy, important for Japanese. The specific reason. I think I can get this answer. Se no. <laughs> False. Oh, the answer is do true. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh well, I'm already in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Wakayama Prefecture, very Minabe town, people are encouraged to put meboshi or pickled plum inside their rice bowls and onigiri because Wakayama Prefecture is famous for meboshi. That's the only reason? Wow. Yeah. It's Amazing. because Wakayama is Arijan, famous for our favorite sake, umeshu, jane. Ooh. Mm. Okay, so that was all of the uh, all of the laws. Natsumi, can you tell us the scores, the final scores? Emma got uh, six point. Six. You got second place. Oh. Ooh. And Shiori uh, got uh, seven. Ah. <laughs> oh, so Sarah, you lost. I lost. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for being in the video with me today, guys. And from now on, we can obey those Japanese laws and be upstanding uh, residents and citizens. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching to the viewers as well. Uh, let us know in the comments down below if you have a crazy law from your own country that you could let us know. But yeah, thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye!
What? Oh, <laughs> she just went in. <laughs> she vanished. <laughs> Sorry, there's some sirens happening. They're coming to, coming to yeah. take me back to jail, even though I'm already there. <laughs> just bye-bye. Uh, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>